Hello and welcome. Today I show you how you can extract the hard disk, the hard drive out of an external Western Digital My Book. This is a really interesting way to get an internal drive that is cheaper than a regular internal drive by uh, buying an external drive and then shucking it. Shuk, shuk. I don't know how how it's supposed to be pronounced, but. Um, there are a few clips here, so three clips on the side of the hard disk and two clips on the other side. The best way is to open it with plastic opening tools like these ones, so that you reduce the chances of uh, damaging the case and uh, possibly affecting your warranty. There is also, this is, you take the risk of uh, losing the warranty on your hard drive, so you do this at your own risk. Normally, you shouldn't lose the warranty. You can even, some people even, if they have to return the drive, they just return it without the case. The key is that you ask wherever you bought it from, if you can take the drive out of the case to recover your data, if you can. This is an option. So then the seller will uh, expect the drive to be out of the case. But you could also put it back in the case. So after you do this, you open it on the bottom like this. That's it. Now it's ready to come out and it's uh, it's just a hard drive inside. It's a hard disk that you can remove from the mounting of the case and you can put it inside the computer. These are the clips I was telling you about earlier. On both sides there are three sides, three clips on one side and two on the other side. And when you open the case like this, you might break one or two. I broke one here, so yeah, it's not a big deal, but you should know about it, that might happen. Once you open the hard disk, you take it out, you will see that there is a USB and the power board connected to the hard disk, so this needs to be removed. And also here you find the details about the hard disk. If it has a warning about not covering any drive holes, it's a regular hard drive, air filled. If it doesn't have the warning, it's a helium one, which is more silent, so that's nicer. To remove the USB expansion board, it's just one screw there. This one connects to the SATA data and power port of the hard disk. The mounting rubber gasket, these grommets, they're a bit difficult to remove, but they come out eventually. I, I found out that just bending the case a bit helps them come out easier. So now the hard drive is out and it's uh, these, these grommets I keep them because I, I will insert another hard disk here just to use to use it as an external regular external hard drive. And there is a tip about that coming soon. Yeah, so we have four, four rubber grommets, pretty nice for reducing vibrations from the hard disk and from the exterior. And the USB board, this one is really easy to remove once you unscrew it. One screw and then it just slides out. It's very simple. One last thing to do about the hard disk. Yeah, that's the SATA data port and the power port. It's perfect. This is ready to use in a computer just like a normal drive and the key is that the external hard disk is cheaper than if you would buy the hard drive like this standalone. These ones are Torx so I have to use a special Torx screwdriver but these days are pretty easy to find the Torx screwdrivers and look this is how I put them the same the same uh, Torx screws on these grommets these are from my old Antec case my Antec case a really old one these are the softest grommets I could find and these grommets are very hard to find these days, I don't know why. So, because this case is not great, I really don't recommend this case. Um, 
the way to reduce vibrations with the previous one i had issues with vibrations so i would put it like this on the grommets if i put it in the drive cage um, this drive maybe it wouldn't have an issue like that but the previous one it was already vibrating a bit more than the normal so it was probably going to not not be good for a long time and it was making this humming noise from the computer it was really too much but yeah this one is working fine so now i'm trying to put the old hard disk the this is a toshiba drive i'm trying to put it in the case and you will see i will have some issues and when you when you do this you can use just any regular screws because i used those uh, torx torx uh, mounting points for the silicone grommets those were softer than this black one so it reduces vibrations even more but i can do it like this just put a screw there not tightening it all the way just halfway and just pressing a bit sometimes a bit harder than i should and it just goes uh, it goes there pretty pretty easy is it should be easy yeah almost almost got it okay yeah so that's the way and i do it on both sides the screw is tightened halfway and now this hard drive is ready to install in the case and i have to put the expansion expansion board there also and there is the the screw hole yeah okay so i inserted everything in the hard disk and it's not working now this is the thing it's not working um, it's recognized in the system as a, the drive is there but it won't read it and you will see why and there is a fix for it this is nice the problem is that there is a chip on the USB board that it's uh, expecting uh, Western Digital Drives and this is the Winbond chip and this one you have to disable it. It's really easy to disable it. That one, that chip works with a Western Digital hard drive, the modern ones that have built-in encryption but the problem is that this drive doesn't have encryption so i should disable this thing and to disable it you the first pin one is where the hole is and you disable pin eight and seven you might get away with disabling only pin eight which is that one and i'm gonna try that first but then these these ones the latest latest uh, external hard drives the pin seven also has to be disabled so you might try to use some pliers i would say don't not really maybe you could do it if you have some really tiny pliers you could cut one of the legs of this chip the idea is that the chip should be disabled completely so you don't really care about what's happening to it this you again you do at your own risk if you want to have warranty on the drive and you're doing this you might be losing your warranty so yeah have that in mind but i'm i'm going to use this case for another drive because it's a good case it's a usb3 fast fast transfer speed so why not use it why use i have another one which is not so great but this one is much better so i removed pin 8 and it's uh, it's showing up in the computer on the computer management it's showing up and it's almost working but not really it shows uh, it sh it asks me to format it and i would even try to format it and it wouldn't do it some hardware problems hardware problems oh no you don't want to see that right okay so yeah this drive looks really uh, lost <laughs> it looks really lost but it's not and the drive is fine it's just this usb board that is the problem here so i'll do the next step to disable pin 7 also 
as in just remove it. What I do, I use a small needle, I put it under the pin and li try to lift the leg of the chip while I'm using the soldering iron. I found this works the best. All it needs to be is just to disconnect it so it doesn't have to be removed if it doesn't break. Once it's disconnected, clean it up a little bit and plug it back in and check it. Yeah, now the hard drive is recognized as normal. Oh yeah! Nice! Yeah, I was happy to see that it's working and I don't have to get another case for the external drive. And when you do this, when you swap the drive inside these cases, make sure you write on it so you know that this is not a Western Digital hard drive inside just so you don't return it by mistake. You shouldn't do that, you should never return the drive with another drive inside. This is not nice to do and it's uh, really bad. But this one, I'm not returning it for sure. I wrote on the case that what it is inside, mostly for myself, so I know which one it is, because we have another one that looks the same. And yeah, this one is a backup, a hard drive for a few things it's not as uh, large capacity as the new one which is the point but it's still very useful and it's working the speed is also pretty good a bit slower than the new one but still very good thanks for watching subscribe like and share and i will see you next time bye oh yeah oh yeah hopefully this was useful